What's going on guys? Today we are back and today we are talking about a budget-friendly Toyota E-Locker wiring harness. And make sure you stick around to the end because we're celebrating 10,000 subscribers with a giveaway. <laughs> Later in this video, I'll also show you how I made the gauge cluster show when the locker is engaged. So a couple months ago, Dark Illusion Fabrications reached out to me, and they offered to send me one of their custom e-locker harnesses they make. So as you might know, I already have a harness in my truck. I made it. I made it all in video. I showed you how to make the Toyota e-locker harness. But you know what? Not everyone wants that. And uh, this harness is a lot better than the one I made. It's time to rip out my old e-locker harness and put in this brand new one. As you can tell, this harness leaves a lot to be desired. For one, I never had the indicator switch wired. There's nothing up here to tell you whether the locker was actually engaged or not. Mostly because I didn't have the plug and because the switch itself was physically broken in the diff. Also, I never had it wired so that the switch would actually illuminate when the lights are turned on. And I mean, just look at it. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. But the new harness just looks almost factory and so much cleaner and performs so many more functions. Now before we go any further, I need to give a huge shout out to Dark Illusion Fabrication. They actually sent me this entire harness and it's, I mean, it's awesome. Why don't we uh, throw it in the truck? As you can tell, installing this e-locker harness is quick and easy. And as of right now, you could hit the switch and the locker will work, but there still is a couple more easy options to wire up. For example, if you want your switch to light up when you turn on the headlights, there's a red wire that comes off of your locker switch that you need to then attach to the green wire on your dimmer switch for that function to operate. And now, how I got the cluster to say a lock. This part's probably a lot easier than you'd think. When you open up your gauge cluster, you will see a little plate that says rear anti-lock. My truck is a non-ABS model, so this light is entirely useless. Perfect for me to modify. So I cut up some black tape and covered the rear and anti part of this plate. After this is done, you need to figure out which bulb actually lights the anti-lock light. And then trace the copper line from the bulb all the way up to the pin, and that will show you which wire or pin you need to tie into. And in my case, because this wasn't an ABS truck, there is no wire going into that pin from my body harness at all. I just grabbed a pin and a bit of wire from a spare body harness I had laying around, and then tied the blue wire from the e-locker harness straight into that pin. Then it's done. So now that the e-locker harness is completely installed, I'm here to remind you to smash that like button. And hey, if you don't mind subscribing, that would be awesome. After figuring out how to get my gauge cluster to stay lock, I was feeling inspired and decided to tackle getting my four-wheel drive light to work. Now my four-wheel drive light actually hasn't worked since I did the three-four swap manual swap. It doesn't have that end bit of harness and I never figured out how to actually get it working. So, I gotta make a whole new tail end harness to connect the reverse lights, the four wheel drive lights, and yeah, that's it. Let's do it.
Okay, so the four-wheel drive indicator and reverse light harness is officially done. It's actually one of the cleanest harnesses I've ever built, and it's got plugs for absolutely everything else. So yeah, let's really listen to the truck. Now, as far as where I'm feeding this harness, I'm not going out through the firewall and down. There's actually a grommet right here underneath the passenger seat that I'm going to feed it through to go directly to the tranny and stuff right here. And then it's a straight shot forward to my power source here as well. It says four wheel drive. Take it out, boom. And now with all that done, let's finally get to the part you guys have been waiting for, the giveaway. So what most of you guys probably know is we recently hit our 10,000 subscriber goal for this year. And to celebrate, we're actually giving away one of these e-locker harnesses that you've seen me install in this video. That's right, Dark Illusion Fabrication actually agreed to hook one of you guys up with the same harness. Whether you need it for your front locker or rear locker, they'll make it to your specification. Now there is a few steps to enter. I'd love it if you guys went over to Dark Illusions Fab's Instagram and give him a follow, let him know I sent you. Other than that, just make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below. And in your comment, maybe tell me a little bit about your rig or what's your favorite video this year. Also, make sure you include your Instagram username because that is likely how I'm gonna get a hold of you to give away the e-locker harness. Anyways guys, I just wanna thank you again for 10,000 subscribers. That means so much to us and I can't wait to see what we can grow this channel to in the future. Anyways, if you like this stuff, please remember to give me a thumbs up and of course, subscribe for the contest and just because you want to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, check out our merch, www.dirtgarage.ca. Uh, we got some cool designs, obviously not wearing it now, but now I got it on. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.